first of all, yes, on behalf of uh, Rewan, we like to I like to really congratulate warm um, congratulations to the entire team of this uh, Surfi project and also SAR for making this long, uh, very long year project journey with a very much uh, large impact and also huge scope for scaling the key uh, innovative uh, technology, CASI technology, building on the existing knowledge and also with the need of new knowledge uh, focus. This is first. So on behalf of team, again, I I'd like to congratulate again this one. And second one is that we really <clears throat> got a very impressed with this data and the evidences we got. And we were asked to review based on the project report, scaling report, interim report. It's the key beside that there are many literature publication. We're very much um, excited. We got many, many information inside. But based on that review, we also got very much clear uh, understanding what this project uh, was about, what project uh, or surface is achieved, and what the road next roadmap. So thank you so much for all partner, uh, respected partner and scientists, team from Asia, all uh, we like, I would like to thank you for your time and also reflection, uh, critical reflection and also input. This is really great for us to make a final report. A third point is that <clears throat> moving, we don't, I don't go back to the um, moving forward, but uh, what we really wanted to is asking what worked well, what did not work uh, very much, uh, yeah, what are the learning from the mistake or some sort of challenges that uh, we could have focused on, but we could not do it. And maybe we also, um, among the team member, we will also reflect on, provide our uh, reflection for uh, consideration in future. Uh, having said that, <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is also just a journey in terms of scaling. As I said, I really wanted to uh, make a point that uh, the system, looking at the technology from broader perspective, system perspective, that includes policy, institutional, and also sustainable fund funding, and definitely the equity and gender inclusion perspective is also very much important in future consideration, because <clears throat> still our narrative, scientific narrative, uh, in terms of social science is still very much uh, quantitative, very much uh, economic focus, and very much yield, yield focus, and treasury labor focus, but a bit of um, qualitative assessment even asking critical question, what does it mean in terms of whole system, uh, social change processes, no? This kind of reflection also needed for research for development package so that we as a researcher or development practitioner, also policy maker, it, this kind of narrative, new narrative is really needed in the context of Eastern Gangetic Plain. So that our policy maker, what social scientists, uh, is really trying to communicate. So making the connection based on the research, uh, communicating to policymaker and law, uh, lay person, pharma, all stakeholders need different kind of strategy. So we also learned that our strategy of learning science-based evidence communication and also communication strategy and focus and how do we define our target for our audience? No, this also matter. We also have that kind of reflection uh, in terms of um, synergy, yes, I don't uh, go very detailed, but uh, it's not time to go detail again, but really thanking, looking forward. Uh, it is really great pleasure working uh, with uh, all of you in, in this meeting, three-day meeting. If something, we have some sort of query, we'll approach uh, Brendan also. Uh, maybe we'll discuss ourselves, uh, we will meet and discuss ourselves if there are something um, still need to be validated and we'd like to request Britain to arrange uh, such um, conversation and meeting with our partner. So having said that, said that uh, on behalf of a reviewer, I'd like to thank you, SEIR and all SARFI teams for giving us this opportunity of learning, making our some sort of thinking also very concrete uh, ways forward for future consideration. Thank you so much, Brendan. Thank you so much, Manohar, and thanks to the 
to the reviewers uh, for your insightful questions and queries. And of course, we look forward to interacting uh, any additional meetings uh, that you require for that. All right, we'll move on over to Eric for his closing remarks. I'm not too sure there's so much more to say, Brendan, especially since I uh, already um, mentioned um, my um, gratitude to the people of the project who taught me uh, so much about the concept of conservation agriculture and also about uh, farming in the in South Asia and the Eastern Gangetic Plains and in particular Dr. Mahesh. So um, it's been a great pleasure and great to be part of the journey. Um, and I'm grateful to John for handing over uh, su such a, an interesting um, project. Um, I I'm also um, very uh, lucky and fortunate to have had to work with the uh, so talented people in ACR with Robin and with Tamara and Kuhu and uh, with our um, uh, office in South Asia, which has made things uh, light work and always uh, enjoyable. And then, of course, with all the project team. And I'd like to mention that um, Brendan um, was involved uh, in the uh, genesis of the project when he was a grad research officer at ACR. So we are going full circle there. Brendan actually witnessed the conception and he is now um, witnessing and accompanying the coming of age of the baby. So, um, so that's been a great pleasure. And also the, the, the way the three day meeting worked was uh, really excellent. I, I'm sorry, I was a bit suboptimal in my control of the system, but I, I will be learning. Uh, my generation doesn't do very well with the online thing. But um, in, in any case, it worked, it worked very well. It was very interesting. It was bittersweet to see so many familiar faces on the screen that we, we had marvelous time in the field when we were together and we can't do it right now, but that, that's, that's how life evolved. So I wish you all very well. I hope some of you will join us for the SDIP uh, review in uh, 10 days time. And, um, and um, I will keep uh, very much uh, active and interested in the follow on project and in the future of uh, this work. Uh, before I finish, uh, just going back to some uh, more specifics, which I forgot, is um, to mention that uh, some of the intellectual innovation that Brandon brought to the field in terms of analyzing the data with frameworks and trying to get us to go beyond the binary notion of adoption uh, are very welcome and um, are fitting well with more of what ACR is going to do. Um, also, uh, my observing of the last couple of years of the um, wider and rapid adoption of the happy cedar in the western uh, side of India uh, shows how much some of the innovation that we promote are sensitive to context and to contingent unpredictable events that the project has limited influence on. But nevertheless, even if it takes time, it shows that good innovation, well-researched, well-optimized, and with good consideration of the needs of users, um, eventually finds its way in the portfolio of options that people have available to modernize their system and improve their lives. So there is a, a space for putting the innovation as best developed as we can on the table, recognize the limitation of the system to adopt and adapt them, and know that when the time is ripe, um, the, the research work is actually uh, applied and implemented. And we see that in our field maybe a bit slower because agriculture is a long-term practice, but we see this unpredictable innovation which suddenly becomes extremely useful in other fields of life, and there's no reason why agriculture should be any different. So thank you very much to all and uh, hoping to stay in touch in the future. 
Thanks very much, Eric. All right, we'll, we'll finish off here. So we finally got here, the end of Surfsea. We thought we would never make it, but here we are. Just to take a moment uh, really to acknowledge and, and celebrate everything that we've achieved. And thank everybody for their immediate participation in this meeting, but also obviously for your efforts over the last decade that have made this come together. There's so many people that could be thanked here and, and it's impossible really to do it. I'd love to share anecdotes with every single one of you on the call. Uh, obviously, we would be here with, with hours time to do that. So I'm sorry I can't acknowledge anybody, but a few key individuals. Firstly, John Dixon for his vision and guidance in establishing Surfsea and what seems like so long ago, and obviously anybody that's worked with John, uh, the enthusiasm is infectious, uh, the, the way, the energy that he brings. So thank you, John, for, for I'm sure what was a huge task in establishing this in ACR and DFAT systems and, and getting the ball rolling there. From the ACR team, Eric, Robin, Pratiba, Chitali, Tamara Kuhu, thank you so much for enabling us to, to do this and particularly for putting up with the constant requests for extensions. Um, glad we're, we're done with extensions now and variations now. And obviously we're recognizing DFAT for their, their funding as well there. More personal level, again, love to thank everybody, but a few key people, uh, particularly Mahesh and TP as the previous project leaders for establishing this project and creating the foundations that we've worked on. I think particularly thinking about Mahesh, how can anybody possibly lead a project after Mahesh when, when if you mention Mahesh's name, the smiles come out and, oh, Mahesh, he did this with me, he did that with me all this time. So Mahesh, you certainly set the bar there. Um, thank you so much for everything that you did in establishing Surfsea and um, just you, your huge efforts that you put in. Closer to home, the, the team of Anjana, Emma, Pragya, Akriti, Manisha, tirelessly attending to all my requests and my changes of mind. I'm told I owe a lot of cookies once we're all back in the office. So I'm not sure if I'll ever repay the cookie debt. I'm definitely looking forward to a time when it's all safe to be in one room together. Um, even just leaving my house in Kathmandu also would be nice, but also going with you to the field, talking with farmers, learning so much from, from everybody. And I'm sure that time will eventually come. Uh, it feels like the journey's ending, but as I said, number one, partnerships and friendships. So I think we're all really got these strong connections that, that will continue onwards. So I think we came together to prove that Cassie was relevant, tick. We saw that it was, and we did everything we could to get farmers to, to try it, to know about it, tick. And we may not have quite conquered yet, but I think that we should just be so proud of our achievements. So well done, everybody. And so I think that's it. I've got the, the, the ceremonial bell out. I'm not sure if we have to retire it or not. Maybe Peter Brown will have to buy us a new bell for the new project. I'm not sure the, uh, the logistics of that. Um, maybe as a, as a last thing, we'll see if we can crash Zoom. I'm sure that would be achievement. If you want to uh, put your microphones on, clap however you want to celebrate while I, I ring the, uh, the bell for the final time. So thank you so much, everybody. Congratulations.